Good evening. Coming up tonight on your first news at 9. Omaha police raid three security system companies they say have been operating a scam. One of the best girls soccer teams in the state is fighting for their own field and an alternative to painful surgery for women diagnosed with breast cancer. Join us tonight at 9. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Good evening. Coming up tonight on your first news at 9 on Fox 42. We'll have part two of a former Papillion police officer's efforts to get his old job back. We'll look into the pressures involved with being a fashion model, and we'll find out how to adopt a Greyhound. Details tonight at 9 on Fox 42 News. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Tonight on your first news at 9 on Fox 42, we'll have the latest developments on that terrorist bomb blast at the federal building in Oklahoma City. We'll hear how President Clinton responded to today's terrorist attack, and we'll hear what precautions Omaha parents are taking to make sure their kids aren't victims of such an attack. We'll have details tonight on Fox 42 News at 9. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Good evening, coming up tonight at 9 on your first news on Fox 42. A report that Timothy McVeigh was spotted at Omaha's federal building a week before the Oklahoma City bombing. Meanwhile, the death toll in Oklahoma officially hits 94 and is expected to go much higher. And Dennis Grant reports on concerns about more shooting ranges being built as a result of a proposed state law. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Good evening, coming up tonight on your first news at 9 on Fox 42. We'll have details on a teenage sting operation which targets tobacco sales. Jan Stoney has apparently decided to work for presidential hopeful Bob Dole rather than run for Senate. And demolition begins on the Logan Fontenelle homes. We'll find out what will happen to the tenants. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Coming up tonight on your first news at 9 on Fox 42, we'll hear from some unhappy Nebraskans on the state legislature's decision to turn thumbs down on a proposed expansion of legalized gambling. And another bomb threat forces yet another evacuation of a downtown Omaha office building. Showers and storms move back in. How long before they move back out? Find out tonight at Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Tonight on your first news at 9, authorities look into the possibility that a couple of Omaha bank robbers may be responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing. Meanwhile, downtown Omaha suffers its fifth bomb threat in the last two weeks. Was it an accidental death or a homicide? In Council Bluffs, two years later, the search for answers continues. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. Good evening. Coming up tonight on your first news at 9 on Fox 42. A Papillion police officer fired for stepping over the line fights for his job back. Two more arrests in connection with the Oklahoma City bombing. And we'll hear why farmers want the rain to go away and come again another day. Details at 9 on Fox 42 News. Go prime time with Fox 42 News at 9. 